welcome back to the final day of Misty Star. Today we are swimming deeper into the Warrior series than ever before, to one of the most recently written books from the Vision of Shadow series. So if you don't want spoilers, um, you should know better by now. But I'll try my best to just keep it focused on Misty Star, since it is her week. Next week we'll be featuring Ragged Star, and after that the many Shadow Clan leaders that follow him. <laughs> Why can't Shadow Clan keep a leader for more than a couple of books? Probably because most of them don't get awarded their proper nine lives. Anyways, I'd love some ideas for Ragged Stars Week. If you have any, then comment them down below. Okay, back to the present. And when I say present, I mean hot off the presses. My library book has a new I can only have over 14 days stamp on it. Crazy how vast this series is and it's still growing larger. I love it. So, if you've been paying attention in the Vision of Shadow series at all, you know that Darktel and his kin are really bad news for the clans. They've been running cats out of their territory and pretending to be Sky Clan. They broke up Shadow Clan, and now they're going after River Clan. The scene that my sister Rachel's gonna be drawing today is of Misty Star attempting to stand up to Darktel when he refuses for them to take their dead warriors away for burial. I'll read this scene to you now. It's on pages 106 through 108 of Shattered Sky. Misty Star, Darktel began. It's time you take your mange ridden clan out of here. This is kin territory now. Misty Star glared at him with hatred in her blue eyes. We'll go, she snarled. You give us no choice, but we'll be back. Darktel flicked his tail dismissively. I'm terrified. Misty Star called her warriors together, and those that were not so badly injured began helping the seriously wounded cats to stand, with Mothwing and Willowshine quickly packing cobwebs onto the worst of their gashes. Reed Whisker, who had leapt in to defend his leader, now lay on one side, panting with his eyes half closed. Icewing's pelt was half clawed off, her wound showing red and angry, while one of Brackenpelt's ears was shredded, and she held one forepaw off the ground as she tottered upright. Mintfur looked as though he was dead, though he let out a groan when Mothwing bent over him and laid a paw on his neck. One moment, Darktail mewed, stepping forward. Where do you think you're taking these cats? With us, of course, she replied, so Mothwing and Willowshine can treat their injuries. The battle is over. The wounded stay with me, Darktail hissed, his eyes dark and menacing as he gazed at Misty Star. Sliding out his claws, he added, Unless you'd like to fight us for them. Misty Star slid out her claws in response, drawing her lips back into the beginning of a snarl. But, after a moment's hesitation, facing Darktail with her shoulder for a bristling, she took a pace back. She was considering the poor shape her clan cats were in, and her own serious wound. None of them were a match for Darktail. The rogue leader seemed to have grown even stronger in the chaos of battle. Reed Whisker raised his head, breaking the tense silence. Leave us, he meowed to Misty Star. It's not worth another terrible fight. We'll be okay. Misty Star hesitated for a few heartbeats more, and then seemed to realize she had no choice. Very well, she mewed. But none of you should worry. We'll come back for you, I promise. Meanwhile, Darktel, you should at least let us take the bodies of our clanmates for burial. Darktail's mouth twisted in mockery. <laughs> that carrion? Forget it, Flea Pelt. A growl rumbled in Misty Star's throat, and her neck fur fluffed out. She was within a heartbeat of launching herself at the rogue leader. But before Misty Star could move, the elder Moss Pelt stepped forward, thrusting herself between Darktail and the leader. Don't, she mewed, her voice low and urgent. This is what he wants. <laughs> We can't leave our clanmates here as though they are pieces of crow food. Our clanmates are not here, Mosspelt persisted. We can sit vigil for them tonight wherever we happen to be. Not even Dogtail can stop their spirits from traveling to Star Clan. Misty Star hesitated for a moment, and then bowed her head. You're right, she whispered, but it breaks my heart. Darktail let out a snort. Watching with a gloating expression on his face as the defeated River Clan cats limped off towards the lake. Feel free to cross my territory on your way to Thunder Clan. He sneered. They're weak and tender hearted. They're bound to take you in. Misty Star did not respond. 
but she did lead her cats away along the lake shore, through what once had been Shadow Clan, on the way to Thunder Clan. Good riddance, Darktail growled, a look of triumph in his eyes. Turning to his followers, he added, Gather up the prisoners. Gather them up and find a place to hold them. Uh, that's awful. They aren't allowed to treat their injured warriors. But Reed Whisker, Misty Star's deputy and son was injured. She can't just leave him with Darktail. And he won't let them take their dead away to be buried. That's the worst. Even in the bitterest battles, the other clans always had respect and honor for life. This is a new sort of evil. I feel bad for Misty Star that she has to lead in such a hard time. But she's strong. She's the right cat for the job. Firestar never had to deal with something like this. I'd love to hear in the comments section down below what you thought of this scene and what Darktail said to Misty Star. How would you have reacted if you were her? And since this is her final day of speed paints, I'd love to hear what your favorite drawing we did of her was and how she ranks on your list of favorite clan leaders. Let me know all that down below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to go and check out the video over on the side of my last speed paint and click that subscribe button so you can always be notified when I make my next video. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon with the next speed paint. Bye bye